Hello and welcome back to SciTi Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really simple music box, which you can program any type of 8-bit music that you want by programming an 18 mega 328 microcontroller. Basically, programming an Arduino on a perf board. And I'm going to show you how to make this in this video. Let's get started. <laughs> Here are the parts that you're going to need to make this wooden box. As you can see, I've already cut grooves and made pilot holes just to make this video a little bit shorter. So that way, all I have to do is just assemble this box. But as you can see, you have the basic idea. What I've done here is I've drilled holes to make pilot holes so I can be able to put the screws to screw the box together. I used this saw to cut in the grooves, and that's pretty much all I had to do to create the pre-assembly of this box. Now it's time to assemble it together. And for the lid to connect the two together, I've drilled two pilot holes so that I can put these wooden dowels into glue it in and then attach it just like this and that way I have the lid attached. That's how you make the lid. Okay so now it's time to assemble everything together. Put a little bit of wood glue and put in the screws and that way everything can hold into place much better. Here are the electrical components that you're going to need to make this project. As you can see, all of these parts creates an Arduino on a perf board. In a previous video, I showed you how to make an Arduino on a perf board. So if you like, click in the link in the description to see how to make an Arduino on a perf board. But I'm just showing you in this video the parts that are going to be needed for this project. A 10k ohm resistor, a slide switch, push button switch, three male connecting pins to be able to program the ET Mega 328 microcontroller, 16 megahertz crystal oscillator, two 22 picofarad capacitors, the ET Mega 328 microcontroller and socket holder, an 8 ohm 0.5 watt speaker, perf board, and a battery pack which will supply the circuit of 6 volts. And here is a sped up view of how to make the uh, Arduino on a perf board. And now it's time to connect the speaker to the circuit. What I'm going to do is connect the speaker to pin 14 and then the other wire of the speaker to ground. Pin 14 is now soldered to the speaker. And now it's time to connect speaker to ground. Okay, soldering the speaker to ground, and now the speaker is soldered to ground. Now it's time to power the circuit by attaching this battery pack. Positive to positive. And then the ground wire or negative wire to the slide switch. Take a negative wire and slide connect it to the switch. And now from the switch, I shall connect the negative wire to ground on the circuit. There we go. It is now soldered together. Now the circuit is complete. Let's go test it out. Next, I want to go and take this push button switch, put it on the corner of the box. I want to run the wires down the corner of the box through this hole and connect it to the circuit. There we go, just like this. Glue everything into place.
Now I'm going to take these wires and I'm going to go ahead and solder them to the switch. Glue the switch into place. Put tension on the wire a little bit and then glue the wire into place. And there you have it, the project is now complete. That push button switch is actually the reset switch which will then reset the circuit. Meaning that if you have it pressed down, the circuit will be constantly resetting and there will be no audio coming out. If you release the switch by lifting the lid, it'll allow the circuit to reset and replay the music. It's basically like an on and off switch. Now if you wanted to turn the circuit on and off or keep the circuit permanently on or permanently off, you can use the slide switch which will then cut the power of the circuit. Or you can leave the switch on and then leave the lid closed which will then also allow you to play music by using the pressure switch. Now if you wanted to reprogram the circuit, as you can see these three pins here is what you need to be able to connect. And I've showed you how to do this in a previous video of how to program the board. Two ways to program it is that you can have the microcontroller on the Arduino, pull it out and place it on the circuit directly and have it pre-programmed or leave the Arduino looking like this and connect these wires to the Arduino without the microcontroller by connecting reset, RX and TX. And those three pins is the reset and RX and TX on the circuit. And then you can program it directly just like directly like this. Take the, plug in the Arduino without the microcontroller and plug it directly to your Arduino on a perf board. And that's another way that you can program this circuit. By connecting it just like this. Reset. And connect the RX and the TX just like that. And this would be the second way of programming this circuit. And there you have it. Now your microcontroller is programmed. Now let's go ahead and test it out and see what it sounds like. Perfect, it works. And this was just a simple speaker code that is preset in the Arduino program. You can easily find this in the Arduino program, and you can be able to program any Arduino to play that simple melody. And there you have it. Now you know how to make a very simple music box where you can be able to create an Arduino on a perf board that can be easily programmable to play any kind of melody or any kind of 8-bit music that you want. It's very simple and very fun to make and this will make an excellent gift to give to someone. Of course, if you have better carpentry skills than I've got, you would probably make a much nicer box, but I just showed you the basics of how to make this. So there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTi Tech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTi Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.